Hi everyone, welcome to Tiki with Ray. My name is Ray, this is Justin, and um, I've been wanting to do this interview for years. Years, actually. years and years. I mean, I live in Seattle, Washington, and um, for a long, long time. Seattle doesn't have a lot when it comes to the Tiki bars. I'll be honest with you. And um, a lot of, and but when people come into town, they're like, "Where? hey, I'm coming into Seattle, I'm into the Tiki, where should we go? I'd be like the, the Diller Room, which was in downtown Seattle. It was right next to the Seattle Art Museum. That's right. Not a tiki bar, mm -mm. but you had Justin here. And I'll tell you what, Justin, you make some of the best tiki drinks I've ever had. And, I don't, and I'm not just saying that because you're on the show. I mean that, too. Let's just say this. If I didn't mean I wouldn't be saying it. Like right now, I'm drinking a Black Magic that Justin just made, and it's, a, it's perfect. And no one even knows how to make one of these drinks. I don't know how to make one. How did you get into tea? Because you're <clears throat> you're kind of relatively new to this. Actually, only a couple years, right? Um, well, time time's gone by, Ray. Uh, it's probably been about maybe five or six years that I've been doing this now. But it's uh, no, that's that's not. I guess maybe that is relatively new. Yeah, um, I guess so. We were uh, we were visiting. Uh, my, my wife and I were visiting a friend in uh, Huntington Beach, California, and uh, yeah. I uh, decided to do a quick search on tiki bars at the time that were in the area, and the down the beachcomber was uh, it was right around PCH, and we made a reservation. We went that yeah. night, and it was incredible. Uh, the atmosphere there was a huge, huge, huge spot. Uh, it is beautiful. a big place. Uh, I yeah. had Navy Grog. Navy Grog was my first cocktail, first tiki cocktail. Was that the first cocktail? It was you a Navy, had? Grog. A Navy it was, Grog. It was a Navy Grog. Yes, it was. No way. And it was good. It was really good. Um, at that point, I uh, you know flying back to Seattle, I. Uh, I really wanted to get better at it. I wanted to bring it to the bar that I was at. And, and you were uh, a bartender before that. I, I, I was, but it was more, well, it was more uh, making just more regular. traditional cocktails, just kind of classic, uh, yeah. you know, your, your, your Manhattans and various gin drinks and stuff like that. But it, not, nothing tropical, though. It wasn't, uh, yeah. That wasn't really what we were doing. And uh, we had the opportunity. Uh, the, to the, the credit of the Diller Room, uh, Rob and Josie were really uh, welcoming to starting a tropical program. And uh, we had full support. So uh, if we needed something, they brought it in. And uh, they gave me the free reign to, uh, to have a program that ended up being pretty successful. Yeah, pretty and, cool. and, and how, I met, how I met Justin is I used to be into scootering. And you're, the owner of the Diller Room, Rob, was into scootering as well. And we're talking. He's like, oh, you're into Tiki Ray. Have you been to the Diller and had drinks made from Justin? I'm like, no, I haven't. He goes, well, you got to come down. He you forced your hand. Yeah. And it's, what, it's one of those things where it's sort of like, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I get this. I hear this a lot. And I remember the, I remember the first time I came in, <laughs> like, you were pretty busy. And there wasn't a lot of dialogue between us because you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, all right, all right. I'm like, okay, well, wow, this Justin guy is very... Very personable. Yeah, sure. All right. Mm -mm. But the drinks that you made were incredible. Like right off the bat. I'm like, oh, God, well, this guy's not a man of many words, but, <laughs> but his drinks are great. And then I would go back. Mm. And then finally, we, you had time to talk. I mean, the first two times I think I went there, like, you were so busy that you just couldn't. You just really couldn't chat. It was, it was a high volume. It still is a high volume yeah. type of bar. So it's, it's not much move, not much, a lot of moving, yeah. not much talking. I guess. And then, you'd say. And, but then, and then, and get how it is. It's like the bar was literally like two blocks away from the show box. Mm -hmm. And if there was any show, like if there's any kind of activities going on in Seattle, I think the symphony was actually like a up block the street, up, about yeah. a block up the street. Yeah. So how it be is like a lot of people come, mm -hmm. drink on, drink, 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 and then leave and come. And then finally, over time, I met you, and I'm like, oh my god, that Justin's really, really cool. He's a really cool dude. But, and the more I would go back, and hey, 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 try this, Ray. Oh my god, this is amazing. Hey, try this drink. Oh my god, this is amazing. I, I mean, I love, I love the traditional cocktails mm -hmm. as much as I like original cocktails. And there was a point in time where you had both, you had a menu. Yeah. You had a menu that was actually made by Tony Canepa. That's right, yeah. And, um... You can go either way. You can go with the with the cocktails that you made, mm -hmm. or you can go with the traditional ones. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, it's like I know what the traditional cocktails taste like, mm -hmm. and it was like three dots and a dash. Oh my god, this is the best version of a three dots and a dash I've ever had. Mai Tai. This is the best version of Mai Tai I've ever had. 
three dollars. I mean, like every drink you would make. I'm like, this is the best version I've ever had. And oh, and the cool thing about like living in Seattle and that you were there was like I was able to come back mm -hmm. and drink more and more and more from you. And then you'd be like, hey, Ray, I'm trying out this drink. What do you think of this? I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my god, this is amazing. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because well, you don't. You're not at the Diddle Room anymore. No, no. A lot of things happen. COVID. Well, COVID shut down a lot of stuff in Seattle. It's true. And you actually went on to become to learn how to become a barber. I'm a licensed barber now. Yes. Yeah. So, talk about that. Like, how did you get into? How did you go from mixing cocktails to cutting hair? Well, I mean, it was it was more uh, having kids and uh, having kids uh, as they get older. Uh, the schedule of bartending is not necessarily yeah. the most conducive to family life. They. Uh, you know, kids will wake up uh, the same time every morning, regardless of what time you get home from work at the bar. So, uh, what time is that? Oh, it really depends. I mean, uh, I'm not nine o'clock, right? No, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty fast, but still closing a bar. I mean, you're getting home three, four o'clock in the morning, sometimes later. Uh, you know, and the kids are up at you know six thirty, seven a.m. It's it's just doesn't work. No. Um, so I, it took a while, kind of thinking what else I could do that would earn around the same income. And I always like getting haircuts, so uh, I, I met a lot of barbers that owned shops uh, while bartending, and uh, had a lot of conversations, and uh, bit the bullet and went to school for it, and uh, became a licensed barber. That's awesome. And the thing is, Justin, I give you my money, but I'm bald anyway, so I just, I just cut my own hair. It's all right, Ray. I'd, I wish I had hair. <laughs> I wish I had hair for you to cut. I appreciate it. I remember talking to you. And you're like, hey, I want to let you know that I'm learning how to become a barber. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of be, I'm kind of moving out of this whole mm -hmm. bartender thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're a friend, and I support you. I completely support. And everything you said is what you told me. You're like, listen, I have a family. Being a bartender just doesn't work when it comes to that. And I'm like, it's true. Yeah. And it's like, it's one of those like, I completely, mm. I completely respect your decision and support it. But there's a part of me where it's like, you know, there's like a tear coming down my head. Like, I'm like, but dude, you were like, you made some, so, such great tiki drinks. Mm. But you decided to, well, right now we're actually at a home tiki bar in Camino Island mm -hmm. where there's going to be a tiki party going on literally within an hour or two. So you decided that you're going to do, you're kind of doing a tiki for, tiki bar for, bartender for hire i'm available for for private events yeah absolutely. so what can you talk about that uh if if you're interested you can contact me and i will do your private event for a price yeah what is how can <laughs> how can someone get a hold of you uh on instagram you could search my name uh, what is that justin last name w-o-j-s-l-a-w or my instagram handle is uh, golden era barber right yeah. now which uh and you can also find me on facebook yeah or you just talk to ray and ray will uh, also uh Probably forty my information. Seriously, pretty, if you, pretty, if you pretty, quickly, he would, yeah. But, but so the idea is that you are starting to do well. Right now, you are bartending at where at? I'm at a, I'm at a small uh, family run uh, business, the Madrona Arms. The Madrona Arms uh, in Madrona in, in Seattle. Yes, a quiet, quiet neighborhood type spot. But and you're not. You can't. You're not really doing the whole tiki thing. There's there. no trouble. It, it's an Irish pub. I'm, okay. it's, I'm, I'm not doing uh, tiki there. It's, so the idea is that if you want to. Hire Justin for your party or any private event. He's the he's your guy, and I highly recommend him. So to reach out to Justin, what it, what would it be? Uh, Instagram is probably Instagram. one of the better ones. Uh, Golden Era Barber. Golden uh, Era Barber. And it should pop right up. You'll see my name, and uh, yeah, contact me. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and just as Justin said, if you if you can't get a hold of him, reach out to me. I'll put you in contact with Absolutely. him. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm, I'm serious. It's like, I'm just so happy to see you making drinks again. Because, I mean, for years, I would come down to the Diller. The only place I would go for tiki drinks in, in Seattle is your is you. Well, thank you, Ray. Thank you. And um, it just makes me so happy to see you behind the bar again. Thank you, sir. And, um, well, this party's going to start here in a couple minutes, so I better let you go. I guess you got some limes to squeeze or some, whatever yeah, you got to do. A pineapple to squeeze. But, um... Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for doing course, everything I'm, that you've done. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Ray. I got to finish this black magic. So to finish, the ma yep, to finish the black magic.
doing it. It's it's amazing that I was able to pull off that that interview because I'm I'm drunk. Do you know how much? I'm so wasted. I mean, I'm I'm so <laughs> I'm so that, drunk. That mug is gonna fly. <laughs> So drunk. Wrap it up, Ray. Wrap this it up. Is, nope. This is this is this is a talent. This is a talent. You can't to... introduce him. I'm like, he's booked for years already. Nope. This is this is a, this, <laughs> this is a talent to be able to perform interviewing people. It's good. Wow. You did no. You did great. That's great. Did I, did I do all right? You did great. Yes. All right. Cool. I'm gonna because you have two drinks. I'm gonna cut, right I'm gonna too. cut my losses as losses as it is. <laughs> Want to support the Tiki with Ray show and look cool doing it at the same time? Then head over to TikiWithRay.com and buy yourself a Tiki with Ray shirt. They're only $20. Tony Canepa did the design and they're screen print in America.